Hello everyone, welcome back to another playthrough of Near Automata. So today we're going to do a couple of things. Um first let's grab this. Oh it's him again. You idiot. What did you do this time? We literally just helped you, man. You look for a resistance member who's oh, usually here? Yeah, he stepped out. Say he had to make a delivery to the outpost near the desert. I thought he'd be back by now, honestly. Maybe you could check up on him next time you're out that way? Thanks, I appreciate it. There's a female resistance member stationed in the desert who might know where he is. You mean jackass? <clears throat> I think I know who you're talking about. Huh, I knew this recording shortly after doing three other recordings. I did my live stream, and then I did a near automata recording. And then I took a break, ate stuff. It's not healthy stuff, but I ate stuff. I ate spinach, and then like four Oreos. Which, I usually don't eat Oreos by themselves. I usually eat Oreos with stuff. But maybe because I was just really hungry at that point, it tasted so good. <laughs> it tasted really good. It's actually just like, okay, actually, it's actually pretty darn, cook, pretty darn good cookie. It's pretty darn good. Okay, what is this? That's Charles Sian. Here we go, that's what I'm looking about. Popola's Aaron. I want to do this. Um, da 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 da. We'll transport to um, the desert camp. Um, yeah. But yeah, I didn't say I, I ate stuff that else is good for me. Oreos isn't particularly good for me. No, I know that. It's, I usually don't eat Oreos, to be honest, because like they're so high in fat and so many other things. I was like, bro, it's not worth it. I was just really hungry, and the only thing else I had was I have bread, <laughs> whole wheat bread. I have potato chips, ripple potato chips. What? That delivery guy? Yeah, he was here. He brought me a broken water purifier, which I already repaired and returned to him. He took it out to the storage facility forever ago. You telling me he's still he's still not back? Our storage facility is over in the city ruins. Help helps keep it safe from enemy attacks and all that noise. Heck, he could still be there for all I know. Let me show you where it is. So she has marked it on my map, I suppose. Since we're in this general area, we'll go ahead and go right here. But yeah, I will say though, Oreos, pretty good cookie. It's well, they did a good job with the flavor profile. I will say that. Oh, wait a second. I had a timer because I have food in the oven, like always. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I need to set another alarm. I don't want my food to burn. 12 minutes. If my alarm does go off, I'm still going to play. My food can wait. Yeah, no, that's death. Don't go down there.
<clears throat> Beast Lord is a good weapon. Very good weapon. I think, um... Yeah, it's in near Anomata. I mean, near Gestalt as well. Um, very good sword. Only problem is, is that, as you can see, it's kind of slow because it's so big. And in near Anomata, I mean, Gestalt, my gosh, I keep doing that. Um, it's a two handed weapon, so that's the difference. You have two handed and then one handed weapons. So, because it was two handed, um, it took a lot longer to enact your moves, your attacks. So that was one downside, but did very good damage. It was very powerful. <clears throat> so this week, I finally do my taxes. I couldn't do it last time because um, an error occurred. Oh, shoot. Well, that didn't go to plan. This isn't where I want it to go. do my taxes last week because <clears throat> I couldn't log into my tax layer account. But I figured it out. I'm in and now I can do the taxes. <sighs> Shouldn't take long. I only own like two expensive things. <gasps> and I got all my documents in order. Those desert roses the twins wanted should be around here somewhere. Yep. Finding one in a place like this won't be easy. Why are those two engaged in such dangerous... That is a good question. Hacking the giant robot. Kind of raining, I mean, snowing on and off all day. There's one. <laughs> Whew, that was close. Oh, looks like there's one on that side. Let's just go ahead and die. I'm gonna move here. Alright. Two more. Oh, 
Oh, there's one down there. Last desert rose. Better get these back to Devola and Popola. What would happen if I were to come down here? Um, subjugate. I'm not sure what's down here. Cause this is where we fought. Um. So if you can't tell, this is kind of the reason why I didn't come down here last time. Because of all this garbage. Whew, that was close. I know we're in a fight right now. I need to check my food though. I'll be right back. Sorry, y'all. Food is perfectly done. Okay. Oh gosh, there's more of them. Oh, sheesh! That went well, I think. Are you guys kidding me right now? Do they just keep coming?
I guess they just keep constantly coming. Ah! Wait, they, they don't stop. Subjugate. <laughs> hey! They just keep coming. Yeah, it's like non-stop. Let me just get out of here. At least I had giant Wilhart friend to help me out. Gotta say that went pretty well. Got a lot of stuff now. All right, let's um go back to Popla. large field of robots that want to kill me <laughs> but I honestly after fighting all those guys have no interest in that here we go Alrighty. Oh, they're still here. And yet, they won't attack me. Wife machine? Outsider. So they're not hostile. They haven't ran away. They're just chilling. That 
that's weird. All right, back to resistance camp. Nice try, guy. Hmm. Weird. All right. Oh, Popo. I've done the things. Hey, thanks. There'll be more. This will be more than enough desert roses. I know this wasn't easy. Thank you. Okay. Those two sure draw some difficult assignments, huh? Mm. Hypothesis. Continued difficult assignments will eventually have a deleterious effect on the entire organization. Hmm. Maybe I should talk this over with Anemone. All right. Yes? What is it? And why are you scolding at me like that? Ah, I see. This is about Devil and Popola. I understand how unfair it, might, it must seem for them to get to keep getting our most difficult and dangerous assignments. But I'm afraid that's going to continue for a while. The others here, well, they still haven't forgiven them. I don't understand. Forgiven them for what? That... That's something you should ask them directly. Eh? Hey, you have a second? I've got a little favor to ask. We need some tree sap to repair a tent, but there are some super strong enemies guarding it. We can't even dent the thing with the flimsy little weapons we have, so maybe you can... Hey, Devola, why do you two keep getting all these incredibly, diff diff incredibly dangerous odd jobs? If fighting is involved, there are plenty of androids more suited for the task. I... I'm sorry. We really should be handling our own tasks. Devola. <laughs> I'll help him out, but I want to answer. No, it's not like that. Honestly, I'm happy to help you guys if you need it. I'm your hub, remember? I'm way more suited for this line of work than you are anyway. What was it? What is it you needed again? T tree sap? That's okay. We'll handle this one ourselves. Devla, I think we should accept the assistance. Come on, sis, we can't keep... Thank you. You have no idea how much this helps. Pod, search for regions where I might be able to obtain tree sap. Search already performed. Regions rich in tree sap marked on map. Hopefully this is enough sap. We already have some. Great. Hello again. Did you manage to secure the tree sap? Thank you. I know this must have been difficult. I don't remember doing it. <laughs> is Devola sleeping? She was drinking. I think she finally passed out. She's been trying to cut back, but with things as rough as they are, well, everyone needs a release, I suppose. As rough as they are? It's not easy being a defective model, you know. In the past, a pair of models identical to ourselves caused a major incident. Popola. Popola, my glass ain't getting any fuller over here. She's drunk. I forgot. But you're no good, razzafrazzin. <laughs> oh, Tefala. She does love that particular spirit. She makes it with desert rose, actually. You're welcome to try some if you like. Huh? What's a... Oh, keep your dang hands off the booze. It's, it's mine! Mine! I'm gonna drink it all up! Meow! What the heck? Meow? <laughs> she could say some pretty odd things in her sleep. Aren't you going to drink anything? Oh, maybe next time. When I drink, well, it's not always a good thing. Let's leave it at that. Anyway, thank you again. You should take a bit of time to rest if you can. We got Popolo's booze now. 
So they had a defective model that kind of jacked things up. So that has resulted in other people not trusting them. Oh yeah, I forgot about sword in trouble. Yeah, let's look at that. We're getting close to getting all these side quests. All these side quests. Let's see. It's in the desert, right? Oh wait, that's Charles Han. Ain't wrong. There it is. Uh, so, city ruin center. <laughs> hmm. I was up last night. Cause what I do now, I eat cinnamon with apples. I mean, <laughs> which is basically what I do because of how much cinnamon I eat. But I eat apples with cinnamon on them while I watch chowder before I go to sleep. And usually I'm up until about mm, 1.40, 2 o'clock-ish, and then I'm falling asleep. Last night, after watching my chowder episode, I looked at the time, just like, oh, it should be about 2.10 or so. I looked at the time, it is 3 o'clock. I was just like, what the heck happened? I didn't even see 1 o'clock pass, so why is it suddenly 2 or 3 o'clock? And then I looked at my calendar and I remembered, it's daylight savings day. <laughs> so we jumped ahead and I was like, oh, that makes sense now. I was very annoyed. I was like, what is this garbage? This must be the resistance storage facility. Help me! He's trapped. Alert. Voice patterns detected from inside storage facility. He trapped himself. Takes a million. Sorry, but could you do me a favor and clear a path so I can get out of here? I hurt my leg trying to force my way out. Also, as you can see, I'm pretty big, so I'm going to need plenty of space. I think he caught himself trapped in here. Happy. I got trapped in there while trying to get everything organized. My supervisor tore through the place like a tornado and ended up boxing me in. I tell you what, I just can't keep up with her any. Gosh dang it, there you are. I haven't seen you. I haven't seen you in who the heck knows how long. And now I find you sitting here on your butt. And did I tell you to keep this place organized? Y yes, but you were throwing things all over the place that I got trapped. If something's in the way, just blow it up. This is not freaking difficult. But I don't have any explosives. And build some. I mean, just look all, at all the crap around here. I could build 10 bombs with this. But there's no way to. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. That's what it is. <laughs> Sorry. 
I don't know how to voice that sometimes. <laughs> wow, 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 zip it already. Time to teach you some gosh dang bomb making skills. But I just work in storage. I don't even know how to make a bomb. Cram it. Even a lowly warehouse man needs to know how to blow things up. Sorry, I'm a useless so boring. It caused you so much trouble. You can have this. Not much, I know, but whatever. Anyway, I'll see you later. Oh, I got a pop program. Okay, jackass. I want to see if he has anything that could be a help to me. Why can't I talk to him now? Why won't we talk to him now? Whatever. All right, I say we do the main game story now. Here we go. But yeah, it's weird it being like six o'clock now and it's still relatively bright outside. I'm trying to get used to it. It's still gonna be pitch, back by, pitch black by the time I get home from work, but you know, I'm kind of used to that. Okay. So I think I need to go to the flooded city. Right? Look at the map. No, I didn't want to click save. Yeah, flooded city. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna check, make sure the recording's working well. Yep, been playing for about 30 minutes. Not sure what I'm gonna watch while I eat. Oh, Babylon. There it is. Yep, watching that monstrosity. It is very foggy. Like, very foggy. I fish more in this game. There's the other one. Hello. This is the resource recovery unit. Now activating defense mode. Let's get up on here. There's something written here too. It reads soul box. So we had meat box, soul box. 
So remember how I was talking about in near Gestalt, the Gestalt, Gestalt project was separating the person's soul from their flesh, from their body. This might be related to the fact that it's called the meat box and then the soul box. This is might be the first time I actually was paying attention to a story on my first playthrough. <laughs> I typically don't do that. That's kind of like how I watch movies. I watch movies just for the enjoyment of it to see if I actually liked it as a movie. And then I watch it again to see if the story is any good. So I play video games usually at least twice. No enemies? It's like, yeah, they're not their enemies, it's just the different type. Full recovery item. to break the system protection before I can reach the core. Got it. Huh. So that's how it works. So I'm just... Oop. It's itchy. I brought down my thing. Now they're just messing with us. Face. That's another weapon in your stall. Look at all the machine life forms you've murdered. Such dogged persistence is worthy of a special presence. That's. This is very different. Let's look at the weapon that we got. I think that's a small sword. Yeah. Faith. A sword wielded by a loyal attendant. In the capital of a distant eastern land, there lived a poet who was devoted to his art. But his words failed to touch the hearts of the people, and he could make no profit from them. Soon, his life became unbearably hard. Definitely make sure I get as many of those stories as possible. Analysis. There are two blocking devices on this floor. Okay. Proposal. Pack into all blocking devices. Yeah, yeah.
Sheesh. Boom. Two two point zero six four two four two three system power outline. The tower facility processes and computerizes resources sent by res resource recovery units for use in its launch device. Made up of two hundred fifty six strata, it can filter and compress information with a turbidity turbidity of less than twenty three hundred and have it recorded into the payload in approximately 27 minutes and 32 seconds. Details regarding routes required for the digestion of androids are recorded separately. The allowed diversity learning error rate is 7.21%. That huge structure is some kind of launch platform. A structure that size could probably shoot something into space pretty easily. So this is some kind of cannon aimed at the human server on the moon? Insufficient data. Cannot confirm or deny. Damn it. Analysis. There are three blocking devices on this floor. Of course there are. Yeah. And I hack into all of them, right? That's the one. Ooh, this is tough. Thank goodness. Kind of wish it didn't destroy it just yet, though, because I think I, there may have been something down there. destroy it yet. Uh 
Oh, they're just different ones. Start over here then. There you go. The following document details the final stage of Project Yorha. Note that this document has been marked with level SS confidentiality and should not be disclosed to any Yorha personnel, including the bunker commander. Black box. Each Yorha unit is equipped with a black box, an item created by reusing the core of a machine life form. As such, it can be said that the consciousness of your high units and machine life forms share the same structure. Said black boxes were installed after determining that it will be inhumane to, stand, to install standard AI in androids that are ultimately destined for disposal. For the record, malfunctioning black boxes have caused some your high units to turn hostile. You're a black box circuitry. It's made from cores from the machines. That's no, that can't be true. That's why, I'm like, honey, you're no different from a machine. Believe me. All elevator controls unlocked. Proposal: Investigate the next area. I'm going to. It's really weird. It's like snowing kind of heavily right now, but on top of that, the sun's out. There we are. It's on the ground this time. This is weird. Huh? What's going on here? Right. My body. It shouldn't Those be in here. My memories. Whoa. Why? That's two beast data. I know these are just memories. But still. No, don't. Don't do this. Damn it, stop! Stay the hell out! Of my goddamn memories! These belong to me and me! For Nanas. <laughs>
Oh, sheesh. Ah, shoot. Okay, voice actor. Somebody hold this boy. This is so sad. Ocean access key. This is the current status of Unit 9S. Yeah, he's not doing too good. His initial state has become dangerously unstable. Action must be taken immediately. Yeah, wait, he ain't doing too hot. Pod 153. Select unit to monitor. Oh, you can only pick A2 now. Oh, very well. Pod 42. Affirmative. Pod 42. Commencing support of unit A2. But I don't want to stick with 9S. So then, what happened to command? Number two, go! I can handle- No! Number four! <laughs> Activation of Unit A2 confirmed. Good morning, A2. Who are you? Tactical support <coughs> unit pod 042. This pod has been tasked with providing firing support for Yorha unit A2. I didn't ask for help. Affirmative. No request was received from unit A2. Can I pick up the stuff? Rather, it was the final order from this pod's previous support assignment, unit 2B. Well, it's unnecessary. Yorha Unit A2 lacks the authority to override this order. Whatever. What the hell is that huge thing? Unknown. You're pretty useless, you know that? <laughs> Interesting. Wait, what? What? She disappears when she speeds up? Proposal. <coughs> Unit A2 should state her intentions. Why the hell would I do that? In order to provide optimal support, pods must be supplied with data relating to the activities of supported units. Not happening. Yeah, okay, I didn't even ask for you, buddy. This is weird. Well, I need to eat. I'm hungry. And uh, I think we're going to play for about an hour anyway. Yeah, 56 minutes. And I think I'm going to start losing my voice with how much I've been talking today. So yeah, that is what we're going to stop for today. We're going to tell you with playing as A2 now, I suppose. Later. Let me see if I can get the moose. <laughs> okay, out the way. Um, so yeah, 9, 9S is losing his ever-loving mind. And A2 was given two Bs. Proposal. Unit hey, A2 should stay shut up. 
What did I just Exactly, say? be quiet. If an attending support unit is not provided with data related to the activity of its target. It is Me too, to Moose. <laughs> the request every 30 <clears throat> seconds until such data is made available. Are you kidding me? Honestly. Proposal. Unit A2 should state her intentions. Needlessly repeating conversations on the same topic is a waste of energy resources. You're the one who keeps talking. Straight up. Okay. Anyway. So yeah, we're going to continue with um, this one. Um, and see where the heck A2 story goes. Because I have a feeling this is bef this is right after the whole coming of the tower and stuff. So we're jumping back in time and now following A2's perspective on things. Uh, so that should be interesting. Alright, so that is it for today. Thank you for watching and I shall catch you on the next video. Bye-bye. Uh,